everybody, Rick's here. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Pazler eraser pencil 7802. So the folks at Pazler sent this to me and said, hey, Ricks, can you check this out? And I said, sure, why not? Because I happen to like erasers, because I like pencils and I like drawing. And well, you get the point, right? Okay, so it says here, it's got four thingies in here, four stools. And uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. It's got a few other things like non-PVC. Okay. And we got some, let's see, produce the light effect. Erase the writing error. Is that how you spell writing? W-R-I-T-T-I-N-G? Hmm. Modify the details. Well, yeah. Okay. I would say that, uh, you know, probably a little bit stretched in trying to figure out how to promote an eraser. But hey, the way I look at promoting eraser is how well does it work? We're going to check that out. So first things first, let's tear in this puppy. Now you can probably tell that I won't be reusing this package. All right, and if there's a sharpener in here. Get that out. Boy, I gotta work for this, don't I? There you go. Come on. All right, let's discard recyclable waste. Okay, so there's the sharpener. It says Pazler on it, and we could use this to sharpen our erasers. Let's take a look. They're all three the same, so we only have to take a look at one. But there you go. It's got a white paint job, black lettering, as you can see here. Red ribbon painted on. And this kind of galvanized color uh, ferrule, you might say, on here. And then it has this brush. So little handy thing to have on the end I would imagine so you don't don't do this with your hands especially on your drawings and stuff so I'm going to test this thing out on some drawing paper let's do that right now all right got some supplies here and uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of eraser test in here okay now the first thing is, is I need some material down on this drawing paper that I'm already getting fingerprints on because I'm an idiot. Anyway, I'm going to use this graphite powder just to quickly get me a base here for the sake of time. And I'm going to use a Q-tip and I'm going to dip. Let's say uh, we're doing some skin tone. That's a good start. So let's just go ahead and, and use that for right now. Now, here's the thing. We got this eraser pencil and I'm going to put a point on it. I'm going to use their sharpener that came with the erasers. All right. Doesn't work too bad. We just try to get some kind of a point. 
could always uh, could always do this on a piece of paper or sandpaper or anything really that you don't care about and you can refine that point and that's the nice thing about using an eraser pencil such as this one is to be able to get a point you want to get a nice little point you're not going to re be able to get much of a point with something like this now this is the same material here in this tough guy what they call this the Mars plastic right it's got this big old nub on here and it's the same as what you find in a Tom Tombow Zero Mono Zero now this is the pencil that I use for my realistic drawing is this one right here and it has that same white material that you find in one of these pencils so this one here of course you do not sharpen with a, a pencil sharpener but instead you just inject it like this and then you can rub it on the paper like I just did with the pencil to get yourself a point but these these are invaluable or you can use something like this. Now what I've used before for example would be one of these right here and that is the Faber Castile and this one here is called Perfection I think that says 1056 or is that 7056 uh, looks like 7056 so I'll let you be the judge of that but it looks like 70 and uh, it's got a pink eraser to it I'll go ahead and sharpen that as well. Get a point on there. So you can see that I got a little point on there. Now, I personally don't use pink erasers, except I somehow got a hold of this. And then you have these white latex free ones. Well, this white one would be similar to what you've just seen with this pencil here and the Tombow and the Stadler even this uh, little creation of mine the chopstick split in two and I would slice a sliver off of this so that I can give this a nice edge And if you've ever seen that one uh, video that I did where I quickly drew realistic hair <laughs> This is the tool that I use for that. So erasers are so important uh, for small details if you are uh, you know, into pencil drawing. Now, using the one that we're reviewing here, the Paz Pazler 7802, which 7056, 7002, there's something about the 7000 series, I don't know what. But let's say, for example, you want to, uh, you want to do some um, pores, skin pores. Well, we have our base down here, and you'll come in here and you'll do very small dots, okay, with the eraser, just very small. And just kind of go around and Don't make them all spaced out the same distance, otherwise it doesn't look too natural. Something like that. Now I'll go and grab, for example, one of these mechanical pencils, and the reason why is it's because it's got such a fine point on it. It's really good for something like this. 
and you just put a very small black dot inside the white area there but you'll want to um, don't put it dead center put it off to one side and then make it consistent with the other ones And as you can see that, that's how you would do realistic skin pores. And this is really concentrated here. And of course you can, you go in here and you can do the other things you need to do like adding some lines between here. Because skin, a lot of skin has this kind of pattern here. Now I don't have a reference photo to look at here, so I'm just kind of doing this as a, from my mind here um, demo but that my friends is how you would do skin pores okay you use your, even use the brush that comes on this thing and you can do something like this and use it as a a blending tool so I, I would call that a bonus since none of my other pencils have one of these brushes so I certainly will use it for that. I don't particularly care to use it to go like this with, you know, I'll blow it off or use my horsehair brush. But I'll use this. I'm going to use this as a little blending brush. Something like that. And then you're going to come in here again and just, you know, add the slight highlights just to one side and make it consistent because the light's coming from one direction. By the same token, here's the Mono Zero, and and I can show you, you're basically doing the same thing. And so there you go. And then, of course, you know, you can lighten down some of that highlights if it's too, too highlighty. Okay, another thing you can do with this, for example, is if a person has wrinkles. So, let's say we have some forehead wrinkles. I'll lightly draw you know maybe a line like this with the eraser pencil and then often you have a situation now here the lines a little too thick I would like it thinner though it's not a deal breaker I'm just gonna come over here and get rid of that tip there it was too wobbly for me there we go. Nice, stiffer. I want a stiffer point on here. So one thing I would advise from just playing with this is that uh, when you're using the sharpener, don't sharpen it all the way to a point, but close, and then do the rest by rubbing it on the paper. That's what I would do. It gives me a much sharper line. But then, you know, you got something like this for All right. Then, I take my pencil, wherever it is, and I'm going to ever so lightly Draw in the depth part with my mechanical pencil because it's nice and thin. And as you can see, there is how you'd make a wrinkle, say on a forehead. You have light reflecting off of it, and that's what's caused by this. And by the way, if you find that there's too much highlight, just take a you know one of your lighter pencils and just go right off the top there a little bit and take some of that highlight off to make the the width of it thinner. Okay, so it's not so predominant.
and that is a wrinkle. And of course, you know, you, you want to do more of them, you know, instead of just one. Just like that. All right. And if you, if you need to lighten it, you can lighten it or you can darken the skin around it coming off of there. Yep. That's that is how you do your wrinkles. Very simple technique, but it does require having a nice pointy eraser to do it. All right, there you go. You thin that one down a little bit and then wrench it off. Yep, all right, I like that. Okie doke. So, there you go. Now, as far as just straight erasing, it, it does as well as anything else. For straight, here's the pink. Well, the pink, it's not so good. So, hmm. I actually have to do a whole lot more with this pink one than I did with this one. Yeah, so this Faber isn't really as good as this white one is, this Pazler. So that's really a nice revelation. Now here's another white one should do really well is the Tombow. And I know it will do good, look at that. Nice thin lines with the Tombow. And it stays pretty consistent, that's one of the advantages. Now I've lost my point, so of course you're going to have to... Sharpen it again, just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, a little more. There we go. And again, if you don't have the point on there already, just make one. Just like I did right there, see? Made a nice little point. And then I should be able to duplicate somewhat, yep, what I do with the Tombow. The tombo. Okay, so there you go. That's it with that. And, you know, kneaded erasers are, of course, the other thing that you need for realism. But it's not going to be as easy to use this for some tasks, like the wrinkles and stuff, are not as easy with, with this as it is with the Tombow or the, the Pazler pencil here. You do need to come in here and... It takes a little bit of time to get it done and you have to do it over and over again but the nice thing about kneaded of course is correcting very minor shade deviations especially if you put too much in certain areas or you need to lighten something that's what this is good for but if you need to take it down more to the paper then you're going to need you know these kind of erasers for you know doing the pores and the wrinkles and various things where you want thin lines of highlight. Uh, that's what these pencils are good for. So as a review, uh, yes, I like this pencil because this will do what my Tombow will do, which is indispensable. But the only thing is, is that this one, of course, I'd have to sharpen periodically. I don't have to sharpen this. I do like the fact that it comes with the brush that I can use. Multi-purpose tools are awesome. I know they didn't design it with this brush for blending, but now I have a blending brush that I can use to blend, which I find to be quite handy if I already have the eraser in my hand and I'm doing something and I want to tone the highlight down a little bit, I'll do it that way. So there you go. Uh, Here's another eraser here, another eraser, lots of erasers, uh, and it's definitely a tool that I can recommend. I like these. I will definitely be using this uh, pencil for the reasons already stated. I hope you like this review and little short demonstration, 
If so, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, click the notification bell so that you will be informed of my upcoming video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.